Hi everyone. From here, we are asked to calculate the length of the red line, which is this side here. We have the length of this part to be 12 meters. While this is 40 meters, we have the size of this angle, this, this, and this to be a each. So how can we solve this? Well, if you concentrate on these four angles, they all align on the same straight line. I believe we all know that the summation of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. That is, the sum of these angles is 180 degrees. So A plus A plus A plus A equal to 180 degrees. A plus A plus A plus A is 4A. So 4A equal to 180. Dividing both sides by 4. Here 4 cancels 4. While here 180 degrees divided by 4 is 45 degrees. So A equal to 45 degrees. That is, the sizes of these angles each is 45 degrees. Now we assume the length of this side to be x, this y, this z, and this b, while this red line should be q. From this triangle, we can see this angle is the sum of this 45 degrees and this 45 degrees, which is 90 degrees. That is, a triangle is a right angle triangle. So we assume the size of this angle to be b and use the so-called tour. Taking this angle as theta, this is the opposite and there is an adjacent. From here, then theta equal to opposite of our adjacent. Theta is b, opposite is y, and adjacent is b. So then b equal to y over b. We keep it aside. Now if you look at this angle 45 degrees, it is an exterior angle of this triangle. We know the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. That is, the sum of this angle and this must be equal to this 45 degrees. So since this is B, this must be 45 degrees minus B. From this triangle also, we can see this angle is also the sum of this and this, that is 90 degrees. Meaning the triangle is a right angle triangle. So using the circle tour, if we take this angle as theta, this must be the opposite and there is an adjacent. So theta equal to 45 degrees minus b, opposite equal to z, and adjacent equal to x. We know that theta equal to opposite of our adjacent. Theta is 45 degrees minus b, opposite is z, and adjacent is x. So then 45 degrees minus b equal to z over x. Now still on this triangle, we can see this line bisect this angle here, that is, it is an angle bisector of the triangle. There is the angle bisector theorem which states that the angle bisector of a triangle divides the side opposite to the angle into two segments that are in the same ratio as the other two sides of the triangle. So what this rule is saying is that the ratio between this q and this 40 meters must be equal to the ratio between this z and this x. So q over 40 equal to z over x. And here we can see that 45 degrees minus b equal to z over x. That is, this z over x can be replaced with this than 45 degrees minus b. So q over 40 equal to than 45 degrees minus b. Now from trigonometry, there is an identity that 1045 degrees minus theta equal to 1 minus 10 theta over 1 plus 10 theta. If you assume theta equal to b and substitute here, then 45 degrees minus b equal to 1 minus 10 b over 1 plus 10 b. That is, this 1045 degrees minus b is 1 minus 10 b over 1 plus 10 b. So q over 40 equal to 1 minus 10 b over 1 plus 10 b. Cross multiply now. q times 1 plus 10 b equal to 4 times 1 minus 10 b. q times 1 plus 10 b is q plus q 10 b. And here 40 times 1 minus 10 b is 40 minus 40 10 b. So q plus q 10 b equal to 40 minus 40 10 b. 
Recall here can be equal to y over p. Now if you look at this triangle, this line bisects this angle. That is, it is its angle bisector. So by the theorem which we mentioned earlier, this 12 meters divided by this q must be equal to this p divided by this y. So 12 over q equal to p over y. If we take the reciprocal of both sides, the denominators will go up and the numerators will go down. So q over 12 equal to y over p, which is the same as y over p equal to q over 12. Recall here, then b equal to y over p, and we found y over p equal to q over 12. So you can replace this y over p with q over 12. So then b equal to q over 12. Now if you substitute that into this equation, q plus q times q over 12 equal to 40 minus 40 times q over 12. Here, q times q over 12 is q squared over 12. Now from q plus q squared over 12, if you simplify into a single fraction, it will be q times 12 plus q squared all over 12. q times 12 is 12q. While here, minus 40 times q over 12 is minus 40q over 12. 40 minus 40q over 12, simplifying into a single fraction, is 40 times 12 minus 40q all over 12. 40 times 12 is 480. So 12q plus q squared all over 12 equal to 480 minus 40q all over 12. This 12 will eliminate this 12. So 12q plus q squared equal to 480 minus 40q. We bring this 480 minus 40q to the left hand side of the equation. So it is 12q plus q squared minus 480 plus 40q. This 12q plus this 40q is 52q. So q squared plus 52q minus 480 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which we are going to solve by factorization. And to solve by factorization, we have to replace this 52q with two numbers in which their sum will be 52q and the product will be equal to the product of this q squared and this minus 480. Those numbers are 60q and minus 8q because 60q minus 8q is 52q and 60q times minus 8q is minus 480q squared. So replacing this 52q with 60q minus 8q, now q squared plus 62q minus 8q minus 480 equal to 0. Here q squared plus 60q, if you factor out q, will be q upon bracket q plus 60. While here minus 8q minus 480, if you factor out minus 8, will be minus 8 upon bracket q plus 60. From this now, Q plus 60 is a common factor, so we factor it out. Now Q plus 60, open bracket, Q minus 8 equal to 0. And from this, either Q plus 60 equal to 0 or Q minus 8 equal to 0. If we make Q the subject of the formula in both equations, Q equal to minus 60 or Q equal to 8. Q is the length of this straight line and cannot be negative. So this minus 60 is ruled out, therefore q equal to 8, that is the length of this red line which you are asked to calculate is 8 meters. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like, share and comment and also turn on notifications. Thank you.